Why, hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Dead by Daylight. Gotta be a minute. I've been taking a little bit of a break. Need to recover everything that this game was killing for me. Now I'm back into Dead by Daylight. And we're checking out the new killer, the Scar Merchant. I haven't seen her. So this will be interesting. We all know, let's be honest here, that she's supposed to be prayer. Let's, let's just be honest. Let's just say it right now. Let's peel that bandage off right now. Let's not sugarcoat it. Because we all know the weapon, for instance, it's like, honestly, prayer this tire. So other than that, we're going to be checking out her, basically, gameplay. I never tried her before, so this is going to be a new experience. The first perk to whack. Your prey is terrified by your relentless pursuit. After hooking the survivor, this perk activates. The next break up a pallet or, I mean, or wall will make survivors within 32 meters scream and reveal their aura. That's going to go well with brutal strength. That's for sure. I was trying to read it, but we found a match pretty quickly. Next one is this one, leverage. Like in business, you profit most when those around you suffer most. Each time you hook a survivor, gain one token up to 10. When you hook a survivor, list perks activate for 30 seconds for each token. Reduce the speed at which survivors heal by 5%. That's not bad. Game of four, first you pick your prey, then you back, pick it up, up all, pick it up all. Sorry. While you are chasing the accession, this perk activates. Damage in generating and breaking walls of pilot gives you a 5% haste. For 10 seconds, however. Whenever you hit the survivor with the total most time in chase with a basic attack, they become obsession. Ah, oh, okay, cool. I did brunt the Memento Mori. So we're going to be checking out her Morty as well. As always, ladies and gentlemen, I do hope y'all are enjoying it. Let me, Mr. Jack, do all the rest. Yes. We brought a red Morty. Wait, do they show it now? Or is it just showing it because it's my Morty? Not sure. Now all we have to do is wait. I'm kind of excited for this because once, one, I haven't tried her out yet. And three, this is going to be a new experience. But we have to wait. Like always, we have to wait for the loading. The score merchant. Survivors may disable drones placed around the map. Disable drones return to your inventory. Oh, cool. And so it begins, right? Now, start. What map are we gonna get to? That's the question. Okay, start. We got the asylum! Well, we're gonna put a throne right in the middle, let's be honest here. Deploy drone, inspect radar. Yeah, we're just gonna pop this right here. Oh shit, this is becoming quite interesting. And boom! Oh, that one came out quick. Let's pick this up. Let's go to the hook. We'll have to go back to the shack too.
Oh crap. He got me, Dale. Looks like this guy wants to play around. All right, we got this. He's going to jump through the window. Just kidding. There we go. She definitely still feels a little bit weak, to be honest with you. Why can't I see those scratch marks? What kind of crap is this? Hang on, you know dailies come first. Alright, there we go. Let's continue. Let's get this. Let's break this. And this. We have to put some pressure, honestly. You stay longer than you should have. I should have teach you. Let's try to save these three gems over here. I think that would be the best bet. Good. There we go. I saw her, she's going for the save. We're 
gonna have to kill him to get him out of here. Oh my lord, get out of here, lady. I'm trying to do something. There we go. Let's go pull over here. You know what I do I have to admit, she actually pretty good keeping on um, the gen safe. Nice, we got him out. Here we go. We have to patrol the gens in quick. I'll probably recall this one because it's not really in the middle of this. Oh, you couldn't get them all because my throne was a little bit misplaced still. But it's fine, at least we got three. It's not bad. <laughs> Let's see this Morty again. I love it. I love it. I love the 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 cement wall that we get. Okay, overall, I have to say she isn't that bad. I feel like she's a good killer for controlling the gens. I feel like she is. So I'm going to say I like her. She's not that bad. I didn't got the adept trophy. That's a shame. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for joining me. At least we get to see how she was. I like her. If y'all want to try to get her, y'all could get her with Iridescent Shouts. Y'all could pay 10 bucks for the killer... And the two survivors as well. But other than that, guys, that's pretty much it. Thank you so much for joining me. I know I haven't recorded Dead by Daylight in a minute. But I'm going to try to upload here and there of Dead by Daylight videos. Try to get another, you know, good video of this killer. As for now, guys, thank you so much once again. I do hope each and every one of you have a lovely night or day, depending on where you are. And remember, like always, I will see you all in the next one. Peace. I'm out of here.